go for it. Hello there. Um, 91.7 WLFR Pomona. We are inside Strange Ways Radio. I'm your host, Matt Ungersoll, and we are here with Canadian band Good Kid. Hi. Uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Happy to be here. Very awesome. Happy. Awesome. Very good. Thank you. I'm, I'm, thank you for making the time. Um, you know, you know, who, um, um, you know, um, I wish I could have all my guests in the studio as I used to, um, um, but the Zoom Zoom option has been working out fairly well, actually. Yeah, I mean, in yeah. this case, it means we can stay in Toronto, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so okay, um, uh, so um. Tell us a little bit a, about your band, Good Kid. Um, um, first off, how did you guys all get together? And please, he's um, um, give us a rundown on the band band members also. Uh, we're, we're five people. Um, and the band started uh, because we all met in university. Uh, I, uh, I was uh, majoring both in computer science and then minoring in German. Mm -hmm. And so I made oh, friends... No. Okay, he, he, um, um, you are also, um, um, and I do yourselves too, please. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'm Michael. I play bass in the band. Yeah, and, okay. and I'm Nick. I sing in the band. Awesome, awesome. And uh, yeah, I was just walking around university making friends and, uh, and trying to find out who plays music because uh, I just immigrated to Canada at that point and I wanted to be in a band. Uh, oh. And uh, I found Nick and him and I played music together and kind of like I really enjoyed playing with him but we didn't really know what to do and then I met uh our guitarist Jacob uh and him and I played music and that was great and then I was like you guys have to meet and then uh we started a band awesome awesome all right then and um, um you just immigrated to Canada then um, um where are you from or originally uh I immigrated from Israel oh really oh very good very good you know you know you know um, um, one of my favorite artists from my favorite brand band um, um, was or originally from there. Uh, which which artist? About um, uh, Gene. Okay, hey. <laughs> that's right. About um, uh, Gene Simmons from Kiss. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow you you yeah you have you have the shirt yeah. behind you you have the yeah, there's a yeah, shirt yeah, there's a yeah. mug what other merch is in this room for them uh and um um i okay um, um i am still having to hang up most of my um hey um, um posters and all but i got posters no one else has you know oh, nice. that okay, stuff. You're a real collector. You know? right, <laughs> yeah cool. yeah yeah cool. <laughs> okay anyway though um all right um why good kid the name um, how did you come by that oh that's not as fun as a story is <laughs> as, as it originally sounds it's literally just that we spent a really really long time debating like we went through a series of different names we were called lion lay for a bit we were called bay and wolf for a bit we were all called we were called all kinds of things until eventually uh jacob the guitarist suggested good kid which is a, a line from the mask i think which you were is good kid. real yeah. good but you'll never be as good as me yeah oh which is, great which movie is too i actually had i love to carry yeah yeah i actually hadn't seen the movie so but it's oh. so we're named after a line in that movie because jacob really liked it yeah. well you have to see the movie Jacob's then the bud you have to see the <laughs> yeah i gotta watch it it's been a while i should get around to it <laughs> Now it's risky. What if you watch it and you don't like it? Like, yeah, what, what are you going to do? Like, no, we're You're on your second movie. album. It's a little bit late now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. Okay, uh, so, all right. Hey, hey, um, um, Good Kid 2 is your second EP then. It's not really a full-length album. It's an EP. He, yeah. um he um okay he and um uh, was your first release also an ep or a full length or what yeah yeah we've just released the two eps so far okay uh, oh, very good for good and um, um i've 
listen to all of two myself and it's fun as hell great stuff great stuff. thank you thank you really glad you like it fun as My hell pleasure. is exactly what we're going for that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> okay uh well okay um tell us a little bit about the song writing okay he is it a um, um, group effort it, okay i'm on one particular songwriter or or, yeah. or um, um, how is the, okay, um, how are things for you? We are cursed uh, by, uh, by being a democratic band. <laughs> 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 and that means uh, we can't release a full length EP because that would take too long to write. <laughs> Sorry, full, 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 full length album. That's um, not true. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just joking around. But yeah, it, it, uh, we uh, it's a democratic band, which means we all kind of try to contribute in our own ways. Uh, and uh, on this album, um, I mean, Nick writes all the lyrics, uh, but uh, musically on this album, we had um, one of the cool things that happened on this album was that our drummer uh, brought arrangements of some songs that uh, he arranges in 8-bit in chiptune. And he just brings us his chiptune songs. And then we kind of tried some of them uh in rehearsal and then they turned into uh, uh songs on the cp yeah, cool the, cool the, the writing process in short is just like yeah chaotic as all hell we like someone brings like a uh a little snippet of something like someone's a full fledged out song or someone's just like a chorus or something and then we all just add on to it um but everybody gives input on everything so even like i, I write all the lyrics but i get i take stuff that david writes or people make suggestions or corrections like it's all which means it's a super fun process, um, but it's also yeah really chaotic and it's it's <laughs> takes a while. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, um, <clears throat> see me. Hey, all right. Hey, hey, um, uh, part of this project that I read, um, um, you have to coincide with it. You actually have a eight bit, as you mentioned, eight bit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, tracks but an 8-bit video game to go along with this project how did that come about yeah well everybody in the band is a is a programmer um oh so wow yes yeah, so we all really like programming um and the game was was the was the like creation of like the, the original idea of jacob the one of the guitarists um so him and and a, and a couple of our friends spent a long time just building building the runner, um, and then we got our the artists that we work with to, to contribute the graphics, which are that like eight bit kind of throwback style. Um, and then John, the drummer, yeah, made like a actually he made a full length album. Like it's technically it's our first full length album, but it's a soundtrack to this game. <laughs> um, yeah. So and that that has like a bunch of eight bit versions of our songs, and then other creations that John came up with. Um, so yeah, I think that was originally the idea of, of Jacob. He just pushed really hard on it and then made something that we all thought was really fun and wanted to like coincide with the release. But musically, it was very cool because a lot of these songs, they started as 8-bit songs. Mm. So then we converted, like, then we arranged them as, as uh, like, full band songs. And then for the game, John went back and converted them back into 8-bit and then wrote a, a bunch more. Um, oh, I didn't. Wow. For the boss fight. That's funny. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, that they went from 8-bit to, to, and like, to us and then back to 8-bit. That's right. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, so then, all right. Um, uh, so it has these songs from the EP. All right. Um, uh, but the soundtrack for the game is a uh, full length album length. Um, 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 do you plan on releasing the full length soon or later or something or what well the the the, the video game score uh is divided into three discs the first <laughs> disc is the 8-bit version of our latest ep the last disc is the 8-bit version of our first ep and the middle disc is uh score for from the game um and we have talked about turning at least some of those scores into mm -hmm. like trying them as a band but we haven't done it yet because Hmm. This came out during the pandemic and we haven't been able to play together. Well, yeah, yeah. So, all right. In, in, um, uh, so I gather that the, the, um, um, okay, the um, um, character on your album cover, that's your like, like I'm um, a mascot, is he? That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay then. Um, um, any okay? Um, um, any info on him? Um, um, does he have a name or something or what? Uh, his name is his name. We we call him Nomu Kid, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he's uh, he was created by our artist uh, Gabriel Altros, who does all the art for the band, and kind of slowly through the process of being a band and releasing more stuff, uh, his backstory started kind of like being revealed and 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 coming up and that was uh we especially took a stab at that when we were releasing the video game because in the video game uh the story is that nomu kid was stolen uh and he needs to be saved and then as we were releasing the video game we kind of did this online scavenger hunt where uh we changed all of our socials and all of our youtube videos and we just removed nomu from all of the art and oh. kind of the story was oh my god where did he go <laughs> and and then all these accounts like on socials from villains were posting and trolling on our socials and uh and kind of like the fans of the band were trying to figure out what's going on and then there were clues and uh hints in our like spotify bio and people kind of did this week-long scavenger hunt nick can talk about it because he was really involved in that yeah cool. we, we, okay. like, we, most of that took place on our discord server we run a discord server for for people who are interested in the band oh. um so it's a pretty broad topic at this point. Um, but on that, yeah, we had about, we had about, you know, we make, we made like a bunch of puzzles that you could solve. And there was like little bot accounts that you could interact with. So that when you'd solve a clue, you'd get the next clue. And that was like a week long series of clues that people engaged with. Wow. Um, and then at the end, they, they found stuff out about Nomu and they, and we like kind of fleshed out that, that story. That was really fun. Yeah, we did that. We did that in the first week of December, and it was just like a week of of writing puzzles and things. And it, it was yeah, it was a very fun. Nice, not, nice, nice. He's and some. Um, this is all from an indie band. That is kind of unique, I think. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How, I mean, like the name for these things. Like this is like we ran some. It's called an a ARG, which is like an augmented reality game. I mean, yeah. people have made these things for a while. We had never made one before. So um, it was a first time for us, but it was just, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a fun thing to be involved in when you're stuck at home, sitting in front of your computer all the time. It was a really great way to like, feel like we were making something and almost, yeah, and putting on like a different type of performance for the people who are interested in our art. Yeah. And, nice, and nice. also you were, you were asking about like the story of, of the kid. You're not the only <laughs> one. Like a lot of our fans, <laughs> they see him all the time and they see him in all the artwork and they were wondering about him too. So the ARG was kind of a, a way for us to, uh, um, to think about, to think about his story as well. Cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. He, um, uh, people can play the game. How? Oh, the game is currently being hosted on itch on it's on our it. website. On our website. Yeah, there's a link on our website, which will okay, take you good. to that, you know, a place where it's being hosted. You can go to goodkidofficial.com awesome. mm -hmm. and, uh, and find it there. Very good. Very good. And, uh, all right, then. And, um, um, I know you're on Facebook as a um, good kid. I found you you're there. I assume you're on other socials? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're on the lot. We're, we're as good kid, add good kid band on all the socials. We tried to make it the same. Yeah. Um, yeah, good idea there. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. You know, you know. Um, um, I know some bands that I deal with. Yes. Um, um, they are okay. Um, um, they are one thing on Instagram. They are something else underscore on Twitter. I'm going, really? <laughs> I know we've unified, but we're also programmers. So we, 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 yeah. the, the difficulty of, <laughs> of naming conventions. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, all right. He, he, um, uh, okay. Um, uh, since you're programmers also, you know, and I've heard stories of um, uh, programmers doing, doing um, um you, you know um, um all nighters programming stuff and everything hey um, um how does it balance balance out with the programming and the music uh, it balances out quite nicely like i think we all i think we all find that writing music often feels similar to programming mm -hmm. um and we, t we talk about a lot we often talk to people about how those two things aren't as different as they originally might seem there's a lot of like similar thought patterns and, and expression that can go into both 
so yeah, I think we, we all we all enjoy both, and we all we all find time to do it. Is your are you asking about like how do we balance the time between coding and, and music? Yeah, um, yeah. How about it, that too? Uh, it, I I I think it actually helps us that we do music in small chunks. Like we have our two nights a week that we get together and and play music for like for three hours, and it's good that it's that and not like a full day every day writing music because uh. It, it lets you play music, go home, think about it, maybe write, come up with your own stuff and then bring it to the next rehearsal. Mm -hmm. um, so balancing, I think it's actually pretty healthy for, for the yeah. band. Good, good, yeah, good. good yeah. All right. Hey, um, um, all right. Hey, um, uh, I know this past year has been hard when it comes to live shows. Who's, um, um, have you have you been able to do what what um, um, some some bands do um, on virtual shows and all or what? We did a few like acoustic acoustic shows uh, in the summer, mm -hmm. and then we and then in the summer we also recorded a bunch of acoustic sets that we've been putting up on YouTube. Um, nice. Those those are really fun. We did some just for the public. We did some for just the people in our Discord um yeah those are really great we haven't been able to do that since toronto's been on a pretty strict lockdown since about october no nope, beginning of november i think so we've had a tough time getting together and it has uh yeah it sucked yeah, your listeners oh, yeah. your listeners can't hear our hair but it's yeah. very long. Yeah, it's very long. <laughs> we, we, long and haven't been we haven't had in haircuts six. in a very long time i haven't had a haircut in like eight months <laughs> <laughs> yeah so toronto has oh. been more locked yeah more locked down than lots of them anywhere else in north america i think at this point so we're, we're itching to get back but we found outlets i mean that's one of the reasons why we did that game and why we've we've been like taught, we have zoom meetings and we've been writing songs independently so we found ways of, of keeping a creative outlet um, oh cool yeah no it sucked yeah oh yeah you know since i'm uh, talking about hair here um, um i do the opposite and uh, and um, um, I got myself peppers and that. Uh, and um, um, I just okay. okay I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm buzzed it. You know, just oh, the, about the whole thing. Boom, 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 done. Boom, yeah, boom. I should have adopted that strategy. At the beginning. <laughs> I, I adopted I mean, the opposite strategy and grew out a really long beard up until like a, a <laughs> few weeks ago. <laughs> I feel you. The spring was experimental. In the spring, I went from long hair to just buzzed completely to zero, and then yeah. and then it was it was bleached, and it was it was it was crazy time. <laughs> <laughs> if we stay okay, in, cool. If we stay in this lockdown for much longer, we'll end up we'll come out looking like Kiss. So. Pretty hey! much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, could be worse. Hey, you know, could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, and, and um, uh, before the lockdown happened, um, um, were you able to tour much or or play out any? Um, so, so we did. We, yeah, go oh, go ahead. Ahead. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so we did. We we did uh, before the lockdown. We did like a, a coast and coast tour where we nice. did, we played New York and then L.A. and skipped everything in between. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, we had a lot of plans to do more touring. Uh, those obviously got pushed back i remember at the beginning when we were like we had some dates booked and they were supposed to come up like a few like two months after the lockdown or something and i was optimistic i was like oh yeah don't worry guys this will be all be over by by the summer and we'll be able to go do those shows evidently those didn't happen uh, uh yeah, yeah. We, we haven't we haven't been able to play out like around the world anywhere close to as much as we'd like to um mm -hmm. so as soon as things are safe and open we're, we're like we're ready to I'm excited to go and hit the road. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, uh, just keep in mind, um, I'm W L the, the, the far out of Stockton, June adversity. We are about 20, 20 minutes outside of Atlantic City, mm. um, uh, less than an hour outside of Philadelphia. So if you want to play around here, you know. You're welcome. Definitely. This is the <laughs> first place we're going to. As yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're coming yeah. to you. We would love it. We would love it. We would <laughs> love it. Um, oh, okay. Hey, um, um, along those veins, Haynes, um, and um, uh, one 
question that I like to ask a lot of my artists and bands that come on my show. Um, what would be your dream gig? Is the kind of show or venue or both that you would like to, to, to play? You know, um, that would be on your bucket list. Um, I, 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 I kind of think about it not in terms of location, but more in terms of like what other bands I would like to share the stage oh, with. Cool. Okay. Very good. And uh, uh, I'm a really, I'm a really big fan of Two Door Cinema Club. So if I could ever play with Two Door Cinema Club, that would oh. be insane. Oh, oh, um, um, I saw them live a few years back. They're great. Oh yeah. Um, um they played philadelphia yeah great band oh that's awesome <laughs> very cool at, at um this point, and you at this, at this point my dream show is just a show <laughs> like right, <laughs> right now I would, my dream show is just can i play in a room with people who are dancing and having a good time like that's all i want i don't have it, it's all it's impossible to imagine some idealized show when we haven't been able to play in like a year <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i'll show i'll show it all okay. i would take early on when we were early on when we were a band we played like some weird shows we played we played the halftime show of a pro wrestling match we oh played, wow like, we played a bar we played the back room of a bar that came in and told us to be quiet and so we had to switch to playing acoustic we, we played, played a mach we played a machine learning conference we played a machine learning conference <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Vancouver. That for 6,000 people. For 6,000 people. <laughs> who hey. were, there, who we, were there to listen about machine learning. Yeah, they, did, they, were, yeah, they were there to listen about machine learning. They were not. <laughs> so we played some weird shows. What uh, are they doing here? You know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we had, that was fun, though. Yeah, no, so we, we, we played some weird shows, and I would play any of them again. I, yeah, them I think right the, the goal right now <laughs> is to say, tip your bartenders. That's, yeah. that's where we're at. I just don't uh, get that. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. That's cool. All right. All right. Okay. I, would, I, would take, I would take the 2 a.m. slot that we played like at the very end of a festival in Toronto where there was like only 10 drunk dudes in the audience who most of whom, like most of whom were asleep. I would play that. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, uh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Hey, um, um, how did things start? music okay um uh, musically for you guys um, um who first inspired you as in, as individuals like who was who an artist who yeah. first inspired us yeah i think the first the first band the first cd i ever bought was a goldfinger cd oh yeah, I'm a good choice. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, I, 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 I can't say I listen to their music now. I, I think the first band that I listened to when I was like young, where I was aware that music was a thing I as an individual could do, like it was something where like the first band that I heard that wasn't a mythical person, adult who existed elsewhere and was unapproachable. But the first band that was like, oh, like I could be in a band and play music that like I could like and get into was Tokyo Police Club. They were the first, oh. you know, like I, I heard them in high school or slightly before high school, I guess. And was like, oh, these are amazing. Like I was identifying with the music and it was by people who grew up in Ontario, like weren't that much older than me and were, yeah. But like, it suddenly seems approachable. Nice, nice. And, I, and I, you? So I was growing up, I told you I immigrated from Israel but before I lived in Israel, right. I, I was in Russia. So I was growing up in Russia and my first CD was a Oi. gift for my 13th birthday was the Gorillaz album. And it blew oh, wow. my mind. I loved being a fan of the like illustrated characters and trying to figure out who are the people behind them. And then turns out there's no one-to-one -one person behind every every player in the band. And it just, it was, it was a ride. I'm still a huge fan of the Gorillaz. So I think I, uh, uh, I strongly pushed us in the band to go towards, uh, uh, to use illustration as part of our aesthetic because I, I love that. Ah, I'm, I'm, that's how it started. Okay, okay, yeah, you know, you know, you know, um, uh, the singer from the Gorillas is the same as the band Blur. That's um, right. That's Damon Alburn. Same guy. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. I'm a great singer. Great, great stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know. 
You know, um, um, I just have to say, all right, um, uh, you being from Israel, um, uh, growing up in Russia, as you said, I can, I'm, um, I really don't hear an, um, much of an accent from you. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you know what? Every every time I travel to the United States, that's what the border control people say. They're like, "So you're Israeli? Why do you sound American?" Uh, <laughs> uh, it's because. My parents were wise and they put me into an American international school in Israel. Ah, so very good. Uh, yeah, the first uh, the first several weeks, it was tough because I had to do a presentation about uh, Nazi Germany and I talked about fascism and Nazism and people were just dying laughing. They're like, this wow. accent is insane. But then uh, I learned my lesson and now I know that it's fascism and Nazism and the American uh, eh that I had to learn. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. 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 Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, all right. He, um, um, okay. He, he, um, um, let's get back to the music on your current album, I'm a Good Kid 2. Um, um, and the two is so close to the good kid, right? He, um, uh, some of our DJs, um, um, and I have to correct them. Um, uh, they, you know, um, uh, they think your band name is Good Kid Two. Okay, <laughs> I got to tell them. <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair mistake. Yeah. I don't hate okay. it. I don't know either. It sounds kind of cool. We can do that. That could be our next plan, Michael. When this yeah, is right. <laughs> I'm a good kid. The sequel. Yeah, right. Um, so, so um, um, what are some of your favorite songs on the new album? Hmm. Um, I think, I think my favorite song on the new album is "Everything, Everything." I just really like the two guitars i was i've always been really really satisfied by the like dueling guitar leads i think I nice. my nice. yeah um uh, my cool. favorite song is definitely drifting um mm -hmm. it's a song that our guitarist david wrote and like a suit like a lot of our songs they take a really long time to like put together and figure out how they work he played drifting for us i was like right away i was like this is amazing and then nick wrote i think the best lyrics he's written for any other song in this Thanks, man. I, I really like it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. You know what? Hey, um, um, I was just thinking about how you were talking about how I'm um, two door <laughs> cinema club, and you know, you know, um, um, when I first listened to your album, I thought it sounded like some great pop rock. You know, mm -hmm. oh. Um, um, and I think I can hear a little bit of two door cinema in there. I think, yeah, it's good it makes, stuff. It makes sense because we we all have our own very different musical influences. Like Nick hasn't talked about it, but he listens to a lot of folk music. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I listen to a lot of like indie rock. We all we all listen to indie rock, but uh, uh, a lot of the influence in our music comes from uh, Jacob, our guitarist, who listens to um, like J rock. So there's a little bit of that. Um, yeah, nice. Um, a lot of people compare Nick's vocals to um, like Brandon Yuri from Panic at the Disco. So there's a little bit of pop punk there as well. Um, so I think it's just all these different influences from the band kind of gel together. And yeah, uh, you'll find the bands that I love <laughs> in there as well, like Tudor Cinema Club. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Hey, um, uh, you were mentioning your Discord. Um, mm -hmm. Um, um, group there. If any new listeners and fans want to um, um, check out that, um, um, how can they? If they want, they should they should follow us on Instagram, and we like share the link to the Discord sporadically. Okay, all right, very good, very good. And your good kid band on everywhere you said, right? right. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. that is awesome. And you've got the website. I know also um, um, Good Kid Official. Yeah. Um, um, hey, about your game though, right? He, um, um, have a lot of fans been 
play in the actual game and anybody beat it yet or something or what? Oh, oh yeah so so it's it's like a it's made kind of modeled after some like old arcade games it's like a runner right um yeah. and when we released it like they did so much better than we anticipated and found <laughs> little like like exploits in it and and uh yeah they yeah jacob set up a whole thing so we could keep track of leaderboards and he put some fake some like fake goals in there that he didn't think anybody would ever reach and they beat those two. So yeah, like, <laughs> within a week. Yeah, within a week. Yeah, within within a week. Wow. Yeah. So some people, there are some experts at that game uh, out there right now. Yeah. It's been amazing to see like there's there's videos on YouTube that pop up of people like showing how to beat the game and stuff. Wow! Cool. Wow! Yeah. And, and, um, um, I've been meaning to check that game out myself okay he um, um i will do it soon definitely, definitely. No, we'll be looking out for your high score, yeah, we'll your high score. <laughs> all right then all right he, he, um uh, once again thank you for making the time um and um, um i mean, i'm going to round things out now oh, um, um okay i'm on to i'm on leave okay i'm on leave room to, 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 to play a nice block of your music and I'm up. Thank you for everything. And I'm up. People can find you at as I'm up, Good Kid Band everywhere and your website, Good Kid Official. That's right. Exactly. Thank you, Matt. Thanks a lot, man. Great talking. Likewise, likewise. Thank you and the best of luck. And I hope to see you in in a lot and Atlantic City one day. Mm -hmm. And you know. Um, um, if you ever do make it down here, um, um, you are hopefully able to come by the studio too. Um, I'm always welcome. That'd be great. Thank you. That's amazing. As thank you. My pleasure. Thank you and best of luck. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man.